Pipeline inbound. Hi everybody, this is Propeller Boy. Uh, I am here doing uh, speedrun attempts. This is a work in progress of so a speedrun of Dead Pixels normal mode. So comments welcome. Um, I'm doing this because I see that uh, the runs that I see online are actually really sloppy and uh, slower uh, than I know are really possible. Uh, look pretty sloppy. So this isn't exactly incredible, but bear in mind there's an awful lot of RNG in this game. Again, I welcome your uh, I welcome your comments, your thoughts. Uh, I would like to improve my time here. Um, and I'm going to do some commentary to let you know exactly what I was thinking while I, while I went through this. So, the whole point of this is to go essentially left to right. You, uh, you can do some uh, RPG style upgrades on the way. That's a nice uh, uh, little grab there early on, Adrenaline. I hold on to the Adrenaline actually right now. Adrenaline makes you run faster, but it's a factor of... Uh, it's a factor of your uh, running speed as well. So right now I've got like my basic running speed. And in the early, um, in the early points of the game, what you want to do is just accumulate enough money and goods, more, more often than not, not money, but goods to sell for money uh, to the vendors to be able to get that first, second, and third running upgrade. That's my primary, uh, my primary goal early on at the uh, expense of, I think, pretty much everything else is just get uh, get as as much many items as possible to sell uh, to the vendors and get the running upgrade. So I can definitely afford it by now. I sell all my stuff. I sell my grenades. I sell my extra uh, all my extra stuff, and then I get um, running upgrade number one. So in the early phases, there's not a whole lot to this game, you know, uh, all basically the same sort of basic zombie. I stand to the top to be able to get as many of the uh, as many of the stores as possible. Uh, sorry, many of the, the houses and such as possible. Uh, one thing about the movement mechanic of this is that moving on an angle is not really all that speedy, um, but moving straight up or straight down is quite fast. So one of the things that I'm looking for early on is a you start with the uh, <coughs> with the chamber's shotgun, which is not a great shotgun. Uh, ultimately, what I want to do is I want to get something that can one-shot the fast zombies. Um, it's better if I get, like, say, uh, a sawed-off shotgun or something like that. That'll do the, the trick quite nicely. Um, I believe at some point I end up picking a nice pistol, like a, a, a Desert Eagle or a Magnum or something like that. And uh, then I just basically use through the ammo, and then my point was to sell it. Um, but if you have, like, a really good shotgun, like a Valentine sawed-off, that's really good because you can do pretty good damage and you're not using two shells at once because near the end of the game ammo can become a bit of a a bit of a pain and you want to spend as little time in the shops as possible so I never really like to buy ammo if I can afford it. There's an awful lot of RNG in this game of course um, so you're sort of at the mercy of uh, you're sort of at the mercy of, of, of the RNG as you are in you know quite a few sort of games. Um, again that adrenaline um, that I got early on in that uh, from that lucky drop in the house Ooh, there's a wanted. Look at that. Wanteds happen very rarely. Uh, it means that you um, are able to sell something in your inventory uh, for uh, significantly more than it is typically worth. I went back in there to check and see if there's any adrenaline. Uh, that's a bit of a mistake. I'm fairly certain that adrenaline is not available. Uh, of course, like items stores, uh, items in the stores, it's it's uh, it's random, but. I don't think that Adrenaline even appears in the stores until much later, like I think past Street 10. You have 20 streets to go in normal mode before you get to uh, Salvation as they put it. So checking for uh, checking for Adrenaline there was uh, you know, obviously something I could have uh, afforded not to do. It would have saved me a couple of seconds there. The interesting thing from my perspective, uh, speedrunning this, is that 
there are enough sort of random factors that sometimes it's it's difficult to be able to determine what the best course of action is in the store or uh, primarily in the stores. So I have that, I get that eagle now. I switch to the eagle and I, I essentially, I use that to wipe out the, the fast moving zombies. In the early game, those spitters can be a real pain because they take off 20 health as opposed to the standard sort of like melee attack of most of these zombies which takes off 5. One big run killer in this game too is the bosses. There's two bosses that you have to you have to kill in order to advance. Boy, I have a lot of weapons. Um, the point being that uh, one of the one of these bosses. Uh, the point is that one of these bosses. Um, they cycle at random. I think there's like four or five of them. Um, one of them is one who walks very slowly. Doesn't uh, you can't damage. He just his health just drains. He just dies out over a period of time. That's a run killer because it just takes forever to kill the guy. And he has to be on screen to be for you to uh, for him to be losing health. And again, you can't go on until you uh, until you kill the boss in, in both Street 10 and Street 20. Or maybe it's Street 11 and Street 20. Well, I'm obviously getting stuck here. Uh, I inadvertently used my adrenaline here. I should have uh, just used my health kit first. So Now, I do have a running upgrade, so I think I have two running upgrades, so it's not so bad. I've been holding on to that adrenaline since the beginning, pretty much. Um, I've been holding on to that adrenaline since the beginning. And I, it would ultimately be best to save it until the point where I had uh, the, the final upgrade for my running, but that's that's not so bad. I guess it helped me get out of that sticky situation that could have ended the run right there, obviously, if I had died. That was perhaps not the smartest move, trying to get by that guy. You do have a melee attack. You see me sort of like, uh, with the pistol, you see me just like sort of flicking my hand like that. That bumps him away a few pixels, and uh, it does a little bit of damage. I never upgrade the melee, so it's, it's not ever really something that I use um, offensively, just defensively, really. I wonder why I didn't use that med kit. I think, uh, I think the med kit gives you... Uh, I, I, I guess I'm, I, I wait until I have a... Half of my life before I use that med kit. I'm running a. It's a little, a little dangerous to be this low on health because sometimes you can get stuck in situations where um, one single med kit would not be enough. You just get stuck somewhere and you can't fight your way out. You can't melee your way out. All in all, I'm making good time. I'm not horrifically sloppy in the stores. You can waste an awful lot of time in the stores. Um, uh, the vendors, I should say. When you're, when you're clearing out stuff, it's pretty easy. You just go in the house and you hit Y and you can pick up everything that happens to be there that you would find from the search. Oh, come on, really? Stuff like that can happen. That's a pain. So I've used up all my, weapon, all my ammo for that, for that deagle, so I... Uh, See now at this point you can start to get fireworks, which are always which are always useful for uh, fireworks. Uh, well, they'll, they'll they'll make the zombies stand still. So I spent a lot of time in the store there, but I you know it was all useful stuff. Selling those weapons, I could have saved a few seconds perhaps. So now I have that chamber sawed off. That's a good gun. Uh, that means I can sell my original shotgun. And just stick with the with the sawed off. It's uh uses the same ammo. <coughs> one shell, one shell per shot. But it does much more damage than uh than the the stock shotgun that you get. And again, I'm just gonna use that Beretta to plug through. Well, I'm getting a lot of weapons here. There's always the danger that if, you, if you're carrying too much stuff, 
you uh, you start to walk very slowly, you're over encumbered. And then you have to waste time throwing something away. So it's at this point where I'm very happy to be seeing... Oh, I got fireworks too. I'm very happy to be seeing this trader. I can sell all my crap, I can throw these, sell these extra weapons. Uh, obviously that was not the, the greatest sort of thing there. Buy some stuff, stock up. What I'm really hoping for at this point is adrenaline. Uh, again, uh, I don't think that it appears in the, in the stores until after I kill the first boss. But, occasionally you can't get it as a lucky pickup from the uh, houses. Again, I got that one at the very beginning, which was a nice little bit of RNG. So those fast zombies, I can kill with one shot with this shotgun. Whoops. A little bit of a mistake there, I just happened to bring up the inventory menu for some reason. Now, having a double-barreled shotgun is a bit of a quandary, because it does more damage, but you use twice the ammo, of course. So I buy a bunch of ammo there from my carbine. That's what I'll basically be using for, uh... That's basically what I'll be using for... Uh, the boss. More damage per second than the other weapons. So I spent a lot of time in that store, but it was all useful stuff. Um, I mean, if I'd had a really formulated plan of action, uh, I could have shaved again a couple of seconds off. So I'm aware that I could use... Uh, a little bit more practice uh, in the, the store menus. I panicked a little bit there. I obviously should have... Uh, what I should have done is I should have moved forward instead of backwards. Now I have a whole bunch of adrenaline. So obviously I'm going to scream through this mall very quickly. Being fully upgraded with my running speed means that my adrenaline, like, I just scream through this. That whole stash of adrenaline that I have uh, saved up will easily take me through this entire mall. And I have one more to spare. Um, if you, uh, if you actually go, um, one thing I could have done is I could have just used all that adrenaline at once, and it's, it stacks. Like, as soon as one would, would run out, the other one goes, but, um, I like to ration it a little bit. So that was, again, um... Uh, not the, not the best. At this point, what I'm doing is you'll notice that I'm skipping by an awful lot of... by the houses and things. Like, uh, I, I won't go for every single one. Uh, just the ones that I, if I happen to feel like, like I'm lucky. Uh, so you can see what fireworks does again. Um, I know I used one on that boss. Maybe at this point I am going through more of the more of the stores. I mean, I'm a little over halfway through. Sort of verging on three quarters, I suppose. So yeah, as you see me go on, I'll go through fewer and fewer of those. I'll definitely go to all the traders, and basically all I'm doing is I'm selling my crap, uh, if I have any, and then I'm buying adrenaline if they have it. I use the max health upgrade, so I, can, I don't need to worry quite so much about my health. And I think that that's 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 the last upgrade that I purchase. I really don't have any need for anything else. 
So I can like, you know, really cut a path through these zombies with this Valentine double-barreled shotgun. I was really lucky to get that. Um, but the uh, the problem again is that it does go through an awful lot of ammo very quickly. I use that fireworks there because I know that I, I'm not going to need more than, than two or three worst case scenario for the final boss. Figures, eh? Look at that. Uh... But now this star has three adrenalines, that's huge. Yeah, the, the fully upgraded running speed with the uh, with adrenaline is really really an amazing thing. Now in the tunnels, there's there are no vendors, and there's only one room in which you can actually go in to like um, to grab stuff. There's a maintenance room at the halfway point of the. Uh, The halfway point of the, the tunnel. Again, comments welcome for this. Now my strategy in the in the uh, the late game. That's nice. I just went in that store on a whim. That Magnum is very nice. Uh, it uses ammo that I don't know that I you know, the pistol ammo that I wouldn't normally use, uh, and it one shots pretty much everything, which means I can get a lot of cash. Two adrenaline's pretty good. It basically serves the purpose of the, the shotgun would, without me having to worry about using my shotgun ammo. So obviously things get a lot more hairy near the end here. Lots more zombies, lots more powerful zombies. And it's nice to be able to, uh, it means that I can, with the fact that I have this magnum, um, I can do a lot of damage to the zombies, cut a path. And, uh... I get the boomstick there, that's interesting. That means that I can save a... Uh, I use that as my shotgun from here on, instead of the, uh, the double-barreled. Because I'm running a little low on shotgun ammo. I could always buy some more, but I mean, if I don't need to, then... There's no worry. So I'm definitely making great time here. My goal for this particular work in progress was to go below 22 minutes, because prior to this run, my best time was 22 minutes and 30 seconds, and I knew that I could definitely shave 30 seconds off of that. Um, this run has pretty decent uh, RNG. I get, you know, some adrenaline drops, uh, some nice adrenaline from the stores. Early on, I get a fair number of weapons to be able to sell, uh, which means I get my running upgrade earlier, and I get good weapons to be able to deal with, you know, the zombie hordes. I also don't get caught too much here and there. Now see, the thing is, this is sort of, I, at this point I really don't even need to sell that sort of stuff. I can just, I, I should have just gone straight, obviously, to the buy. So I could have saved, you know, another five seconds here. Hey. 
See, that's the sort of thing that I should do. So that way I'm not screwing around in the store. Over the course of this run, I estimate that I, I probably could save. Um, and again, some of it is, it's like, hindsight is, is everything. Um, I could save probably... Uh, at least a full minute in the stores, I would say. So I switched to my carbine here. Again, because a boss is coming up. And I have enough ammo from that one time when I purchased all that, uh, those four boxes. That I can safely make it through. I've got plenty of fireworks if I need the fireworks. Uh, the RNG here is not spectacular. I get uh, a boss with an awful lot of health. I get the fire boss. Now he moves slowly. And he's like an easy one to deal with. I forego that store. That vendor. So here's the fire boss. Oh, it's not the fire boss. Um, I had enough health kits here. I thought I got the fire boss, sorry. Uh, I had enough health kits here that what I could have done, and this would have saved another, let's say, 10 seconds, is uh, gone to my health kits, kept running, fired behind me while running to the right, and I could have kept... I had enough uh, fireworks, or uh, health kits that I could have done that. So my final time is 21.46. Uh, I certainly feel that under 21 minutes would easily be possible, uh, with this particular strategy, if I had the same RNG as I did uh, with this run, I could, between that last boss, little mistakes here and there, and the stores, I could go easily under 21 minutes. Um, potentially maybe under 20. I think that, like, like an ultimate godly run, using this sort of strategic plan, um, would be, like, 20 minutes or just below. So uh, there you have it. Please let me know uh, what you think, comments, uh, suggestions on improvement. And uh, I really enjoyed doing this and, and playing this game. I think I'll be running it some more. So thanks a lot. Hey, boomer buddies, give me a hug.